Hey, I just wanted to know. What you call your art style? My art style? Um, I don't call it anything. Really? I thought most people had names for their art styles. Um, not that I'm aware of. When was the last time you've heard anybody naming their art style? So I was asked this recently uh, by a friend and he asked me if I happen to have a name for my art style. No, I do not. In some cases you can have a name for your art style. Um, I just never thought about attaching a name to my style. I prefer to just say what it's mixed with. Some of you may know that my style is mixed between Eastern and Western. What is Eastern and Western? Japanese and American. So as I was growing up, I used to draw a lot of cartoons and I grew up on the mainstream back in the day. And to say, I, I don't know how this falls, 90s kid. I was born in the 80s, but late 80s. So I'm not a 80s kid, I'm a 90s kid. Anyway, I used to draw a lot of Pokemon and Digimon back in the day. Uh, and when it came down to other things that I was using to copy from when I was a kid, it was mostly Final Fantasy and Marvel Comics. I was given a bunch of Marvel Comics as a kid, and that's what I started out reading. It was Marvel. Granted, I'm a DC buff. As I was learning certain things of manga and anime back in the day, I was for drawing both Digimon, Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z, and a few other things that uh, I can't actually remember at the moment. I would challenge myself to mix some of those styles up together with both Japanese and American. So, as of going back into the history of actually figuring out what it was my style was pulling from, I say Eastern and Western. A lot of people don't know what that means, so I have to dumb it down a little bit for them. Japanese style and American style. What you talk about, man? You know you draw all that anime. I don't draw all that anime. And if you're one of those that happens to think that all I do is draw anime, is that's up to you. There was a lot of influences that I got from a lot of different books back in the day of both X-Force, Iron Man, Spider-Man, and Wolverine comics. Now, I wasn't heavy on inking and doing a lot of splotchiness with some of the lines when it came down to rigid stuff of both X-Force and Wolverine. Because I wanted a lot of that fine line and fine tuning like the actual manga style there was back in the day with both just making sure things look neat. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of fine American artists with great fine detail in their lines, but the ones that usually came into my hands tend to be a little bit more messier than most. It's funny, is I'm, I love fine lining and making sure my stuff is clean, and now some of my stuff is more messy than ever. My sketches. The majority of people think I draw nothing but anime, but when it comes to actually meeting other artists or just talking with other artists' friends, they see that my style is mixed between two different nations. And that makes me feel good when people notice it because now I can have a decent enough conversation of where I pull from. Now, I was just learning a bunch of techniques from other artists because I used to copy a lot of the things that other artists drew just to be able to build my technique and build my style. Learning this method allowed me to be able to move faster and learn anatomy better than just practicing a bunch of shapes all the time. Uh, I know some people practice shapes after shape after shape after shape of anatomy and that's not a bad thing but when it came down to me as an artist that grew boring. I think it's good I finally found uh, really two good lighting settings for my screens because now the lighting looks a little bit better on my face than those constant crazy colors right? RGB was just getting really weird in my edits. Anyway. No, I do not have a name for my art style, but if you take a look at my Instagram and look at my stuff, 
Leave me some comments on what you see that may give you the feels of some other type of big artist or some type of, you know, genre that you're aware of. To all of you artists, you can go ahead and name your art style, which is not a problem. Now, I always thought of it like this. If I were to name my art style, would anybody care enough to remember that name? No, so I just go ahead and just say what it is. Eastern and Western, that's what it is. So, there you go, guys. If that's what you wanted to know, that's it. I have no name for it. I just call it what it is. Is that a problem? I don't think so. Speaking of art style, I just want to let you know that my art jam is coming along and it's it's not tedious, but it's a lot of editing because it's hours and hours of me editing an art piece and me just jam pack like speeds into certain things I gotta sometimes make it a little faster than what it should be faster than this one clip faster than this clip or a little slower than that one it it just it it's becoming overwhelming but it's coming along so I know you guys are looking for it. I know I was supposed to have it out sooner but some things came up but I'm still picking at it plus I'm trying to get some more art pieces out there for you guys to actually enjoy as well on here and on Instagram so Check everything out. So, everything's wrapped up and ready to go. So, uppercut that like button, share, and subscribe. This is your boy Warwind, and I am out. <laughs> wrapped up and put aside, ready to go, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to use that.